What's happening, YouTube? Welcome to summer, guys. It is June 22nd already, uh, Sunday evening. Can you guys believe the year's halfway over already? It's freaking nonsense. But uh, it is summertime. Summer came in right down here. It's in the 90s. Whew. Hot stuff, guys. I uh, figured I'd give you an update on the air conditioner and the envoy, speaking of all that hot stuff. And uh, I don't know what the title of this video, but how about Shitty Week? Check it out, guys. Well, with that separator, you're able to reach in there with a good pair of needle nose or pup pliers, and you can grab onto the end of that orifice tube and pluck it out of there. The problem is, let's see if this shows up here on macro, aluminum. Lots and lots of aluminum. That's a very, very bad sign. It means the compressor is junk. So if that's not good enough, Tuesday night after work, I'm waddling down the road, much as you see right here. I get to about this point, which is right next to my shop. And I'm going, and I smell fuel. And that's not a good sign, because there's no reason to smell fuel. So I went in the shop, and lo and behold, my nice shiny cub had fuel dripping. Right in front of the rear tire, right in front of the running board, kind of off in the middle of the frame rail there. The fuel spillage did its fair share of damage. You can see the white discoloration there, where it's all ran down, or the yellow discoloration in the white. And... Uh, some streaking on this paint, but this is equipment paint. It's a lot better than this white stuff, which is Rust-Oleum. So, I had to figure out what the problem was. You know, I had a full tank of fuel, and most of it was on the floor. So this is where my stupidity level really just took it to the next level when I was putting this back together. I spent uh, months of prep work and cleaning and painting and a lot more money on paint than I should have for this tractor. And I cheaped out on the grommet and the fuel tank. Instead of just spending the seven or eight bucks on an actual fuel tank grommet for this tractor, I used a little rubber foot that I had on hand. It's a compressor mounting foot. And I thought, you know, it's, it's good for compressor oil, it ought to be fine for fuel, and that's just not right. This thing's not nearly that big in real life. It's swelled way up, and you can see where the top of it's wet there. It swelled up, fuel started just dripping all over. So for a seven dollar shortcut, I have created myself all kinds of new headaches and issues with the paint. The side shield and the side skirt all along the bottom is all discolored like that. The paint's bubbled in parts of it. Again, it hadn't even cured. And uh, yeah, good times. Let me go back in here where it's just a little bit cooler, anyways, and tell you one more thing. So, if the truck AC and the fuel leaks and all that crap weren't enough, I started the week out putting a bunch of food in my oven, trying to cook, and finding out that my oven no longer wants to cooperate. It just, uh, the digital control board or whatever, no longer works. The stovetop still works, but I'm getting nothing from the oven. Nothing from the broiler, just won't cooperate at all. So that makes three things. Hopefully, and they say bad shit happens in three, so hopefully, knock on wood, that's right, and those are my three things, and we're done and clear for a little while at least, but, uh, this afternoon I did order all the parts for the Envoy, so maybe this time next week, it is Sunday even, maybe this time next week I'll have that fixed and going again. My luck will probably be working. Plus I've still got that little critter to do something with. Uh, I haven't touched that, as well as every other project around here. Oh, you guys know how it is, there's just not enough hours in the day these days. But, it is what it is. And to that extent, a big apology to all you guys, I'm not catching up with the videos at all. And I'm just, I'm not getting in there, I'm not getting on the computer near as much to watch videos and do all that stuff, so I apologize for that. Maybe one of these days I'll be able to play catch-up or something, but, uh, that's what I have for y'all. A big, big thank you to you guys that do still check out the videos and watch them and all that good stuff. As always, guys, I do appreciate y'all checking out the channel and watching the videos, leaving the comments. Thank y'all. Stay safe and stop back.